Hello and welcome to the safe space on the internet I like to call Grackle and today's video is a very hopefully calming comforting bringing all the good vibes I am baking all the time obviously we're in lockdown 3.0 and even before we were in lockdown a distant distant memory I would bake all of the time but lockdowns really heightened that and I'm getting asked all the time, do you really break, bake every day? What do you bake? What's your favorite thing to bake? And I thought, why not show you everything that I've baked in a week? Because then it's just fun to document. So I'm gonna show you, today is day one. And I won't lie, I'm not the most lavish baker. I do just like very simple, easy to cook things. Sometimes, hey, I do wanna push the boat out and make something elaborate sometimes simple we never know what we're gonna get so buckling your seat belts i like baking sweet i like baking savory i like trying new things so let's crack on with the video for our first bake i am making these seedy maple breakfast muffins now this is from the dessert person book by the icon claire savitz this recipe actually needed applesauce but we had some apples going off perfect opportunity yet again to use up your leftover apples. So I have made some apple sauce, which has been getting cold over here. I've already toasted my, I'm actually gonna be using, instead of pumpkin seeds, I'm gonna be using toasted chopped hazelnuts because we didn't have any pumpkin seeds. It's fun to play around with recipes, AKA just didn't have the stuff and I'm not gonna go out to the shop. And we are about to make a flax egg, which I've actually had many questions what a flax egg before is. And it's basically, flax seed that you mix with boiled water and it creates like an egg consistency so here's the recipe feel free to print screen at home i'm halving it which makes six because there's three of us at home so that means two each which will be gone probably within a day that is normally my key to making recipes i half just about everything because otherwise i won't get to bake as much so if i have everything it means i get to bake more so I'm gonna leave my flax egg. I've weighed out my dry ingredients and I got my topping here, which is like nuts, seeds, and some demerara sugar. So these are proper like substantial, hearty breakfast muffins. Here is the flax and the water and then you leave it to kind of congeal for five minutes. Can you see now it's much more congealed and it kind of moves as one conglomerates okay it is time now to mix everything together make a well in the center of the flour mixture and pour in the applesauce wet ingredients i really do have a good feeling about these I like a breakfast muffin i've never quite cracked a recipe of or found one that actually works well this could be because all breakfast muffins are either super, super healthy like grim healthy or they're on the other end of the spectrum where it's like this is just pure sugar. Because this, I feel like, is a happy medium. This looks like it's really roughage It's gonna get the bowels moving and a groove in. And to be honest, we love fiber. We're all here for her. I feel like fiber doesn't get appreciated enough as a key ingredient in life. So I seem like to use my ice cream scoop because I feel like this gets a nice even portion. So here we have the muffins. And this has got poppy seeds, chia seeds, demerara sugar, and we're just gonna Sprinkle it on for a nice crunchy topping. Pre-oven, there was a lot of topping. Now we clean up my absolute mess and get to lick the bowl, which is delicious. Here are the little muffins afterwards. Here is Anna's bedroom. <laughs> Hi. Um, so I'm gonna pop these in a cooling rack now and leave them to cool. Mum has had one of these muffins and says they are delish. So I'm gonna try one and see if I can cook. Right, let's try this muffin. Quite nice. Not super sweet though. No, that's what I love. Mm. That's what you meant for me. Not super sweet. Mm. Those nuts on top are really nice. So the the muffins have been approved by mum. I think they're delicious. Oh, she said she really enjoyed them. Really enjoyed it. So um, muffins, it's an out of ten. And now it's pancake. Do, like do you like the fact they've got nuts on top? Because it's supposed to just be seed, but I think the nut adds a I nice. Love the I love the blueberries in it. Yeah. I'm very excited. the next day and uh, i'm gonna be preparing something for dinner today no lunch because um, i made this the other day and they were a roaring success but i wanted to work on them because they didn't turn out the neatest because i used the wrong box to prove them in so i'm making these which is paul's olive breadsticks um from this recipe book 
Um, I have so many recipe books and I love each and every one of them. Um, and I divide the recipe by three because, as I said, there's only three of us at home at the moment. So we won't get through 36. I mean, I want to pass it, put it past us, but don't want to waste um, a recipe. Right, we're about to chop these little guys up. They're giving me tadpole energy and I hate tadpoles. But we're going to chop them. There's a lot of them to chop. Oh, one, two, three. It doesn't say to chop them, again, but I prefer them chopped, so should mix them away in there and last time I basically put them in the bottom of this tub so it meant that when I flipped it out it lost all of its shape and all of its bubbles and um, so this time I'm actually going to do it on this side of the tub so it's hopefully like easier to slip out and it won't lose its shape that's what I'm hoping anyway it's come together as a nice little dough and now we add in the olive oil and the olives and mix again okay she's been proving for an hour and this is what it looks like now. Oh, I can't, I actually am buzzing to eat this man. Chuck her onto the table. Well, not chuck, we're gonna be so gentle. It's like a little baby. And we don't wanna knock out all the air that's just created. So hopefully this works better than the tub and it manages to kind of keep some sort of, oh, I hope this flops out easier than last time. Come on, slide to the left. Slide to the right. He's coming, I think he's coming. You know what, next time I might just prove it on the work surface. That's it, that's it. Don't start moving to the funky, funky beat. Come on, cut them and pop them on your, on your tray, ready to go in the oven. Okay, it's quite hard to get them neat because you get all the nodules of the olives, but hopefully they'll look all right once I bake them. Okay, here are the little breadsticks. We're gonna have those for lunch. They're good to like dip in olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Maybe, heck, some hummus. Throwing it out there. Oh, hello, it's me again. We had our breadsticks for lunch and it was delicious. And I just realized I subconsciously started baking and didn't even think about vlogging because that's just how much I bake. <laughs> Strudel scones, even apple pin daddy. So this is our little bakey bake. This is a Bakewell blondie, that's what it is. Couldn't remember then, but I did again, I halved the recipe. Um, and I'm gonna get it out and cut it and see what it's saying. Okay, here is the raspberry blondie. The lighting is not making it look very particularly good. A few flecks of white chalky there. The reviews are crashing in, being inundated. And the verdict is? It's like something my mum used to make. Mm. It's very nice, I much prefer it to the brownie because it's not as sweet. It's another day, Grace. Do you see what this is? You know? Hummus. That's right, it's hummus. And what goes well with hummus? That's right, pig's bread. You were so right, oh my gosh. You literally are just so incredible and talented. And I'm gonna make some pig's breads to go with our hummus for lunch. Don't stop moving to the funky, funky beat, come on. Apparently you keep them in a tea towel to keep them from, to keep them soft. So I'm just gonna keep them under here until lunch. Just cutting the pitters in half. And look, it's a real life. I don't know why I always get shocked when things actually uh, look like the thing they're supposed to. Like it's got the real life pitter hole. I'll just sort of show you the. Guys, I'm feeling a little bit bored, a little bit un uninspired. Um, and this is when it happens. This is when I get hit with the baking bug that I must bake something. It's just, it just happens, okay? We've only got three of those bake hole things left, so I think I'm gonna need a little snack. Um, so let's, I'm gonna give myself a challenge. I'm gonna load up Pinterest and whatever recipe on that first page that calls me the most, I'm gonna make. Pinterest, please be good, okay? We're gonna keep scrolling until I find something that we have all of the ingredients for. Um, what have we got here? Matcha braided loaf. Oh. Things, I don't think anyone in my family likes matcha, but I really want to try making that. It's got five star reviews. I'm gonna make it. This looks so fun. Okay, let's make a matcha braided loaf. Thing is, I don't think that my family will eat that. I literally was explaining for about seven minutes my thought process as to what I was picking for baking, and I ended up picking this overnight English muffin recipe because I don't, I don't even know. After that seven minutes, it just literally went in one ear and out the other. For some reason, I made these overnight English muffins, okay? So here you go. So this milk butter mixture 
has been left to cool and now we're adding it to our yeast to activate it. Does anyone else get weirdly grossed out when the yeast comes to life? Just going in. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> She's off again. It's a very sticky dough, but I've oiled the bowl and now she gets proved for one and a half to two hours. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we spread it on this guy with the oil. So can I just write, whilst we're on, I'm not a baking snob, right? I'm all for a Betty Croc moment. I truly am. I think there's something great about Betty Croc. But let me tell you, I also have a soft spot. I'll tell you what I have a soft spot for. Chocolate chip hot cross bun. Yeah, that's right. Um, and I've been sourcing these. I've, had, I've looked hard, far and wide and I've only ever found chocolate and salted caramel and to be honest, I just want the chocolate to do the talking. Why is caramel in there? What are you doing in there? I'm absolutely pumped, I finally found this. Um, anyway, we're gonna pop this guy in here. I'm very excited. <gasps> Do you ever just get random hiccups or is that just me? Oh no, is it not gonna slide? Is it like yesterday? Come on. <gasps> oh, it has. Okay, and then I put it in the fridge and I'll see you in the morning. Oh, also actually, whilst I show you the, the fact that I bought those fun hot cross buns, also found for Dad, look at this, cherry Jaffa cakes. And my dad loves Jaffa cakes and he loves cherries, so we'll see what he thinks about these. New. I feel like every single month Jaffa cake and like, let's bring a new flavour out. Um, anyway, I'm going to pop this in the fridge and we leave it. Cockle doodle doo! Hi, good morning. It is the next day right now. Um, and I'm about to prepare my little muffins. Boil the rain. Heat up the skillet at once. Yes, okay, so we have our first batch, and apparently, heat that one side for eight to ten minutes. It's been eight minutes, and these guys have puffed up, so I'm hoping they've got little brown bottoms. <gasps> oh, pants. It's hard to know, but I think they are done. Just cut one of the little guys in half, and it looks muffiny. My little babies are done. We've already eaten some of them. It's a Friday night. Um, I am, um, my parents are on a Zoom. So it's just me down here. I'm getting the air fry, in case you were wondering. Because a while ago I did a video where I like tested air fry recipes, which I always find out great recipes doing things like that. Um, and I need pudding. I'm on top of the fridge right now. Okay. Oh. Right, so what I'm gonna make um, is this chocolate mini molten lava cake. We all know that that is my favorite dessert of all time. If I could pick one dessert to have for the rest of my life, it probably would be that. I just could always have it. Oh, sorry, that fire made me jump. Um, so I'm gonna make it right now because this is the best recipe I've found. It's a peppermint one. But basically I just don't put the peppermint in. Air fryer is preheating and we're adding in the egg, egg yolk and sugar. Mixy mixy. Ready? A mixy mix. Well that was the worst stereo. You spin me right round, baby. Um, this is the best bowl ever and I literally think my parents have had it since they got married nearly 30 years ago. I love it. It's been with us through thick and thin if anyone else just saw that evolution of my brain. Um, that is how my brain works. Literally within 15 seconds, I covered about seven topics. There's a lot going on in here. Now we have to fold the flour in. I hate folding. It's so long and you gotta be patient and I'm not a patient person. Beautiful and this has got one minute so it's literally perfect timing. Okay, into the air fryer they go. Yeah. Oh, pants, I forgot to clean it out. Okay, I'm human, I forgot to clean the air fryer out. Well, uh, nobody's perfect. No, seriously, no one is perfect. So why do we keep on putting people on a pedestal? Because no one is perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. Anyway, wow, sorry, slightly off tangent. Um, so now we can put these back in the air fryer after that little interlude. That's cooking, I have cleaned up, and it is time to assemble the perfect Friday night ratios. And step number one is hot water. Take them out when they get to 160 and leave them to stand for five minutes. I'm so impatient right now. I just want it. But I feel like I have to wait for it to be perfect. So I want to ruin it. Patient. Are you ready? Please, please, please work. Can I make it a little sand casual? Pants. <laughs> it's delicious though. Oh wow, 
Okay, I'm taking my cake, even if it has exploded everywhere. Okay, I am ready. I have my chocolate lava cake, which has exploded everywhere. And I don't know whether I'm gonna watch Superstore, Friends, or a rom-com. They're my kind of go-to things. Also, this is actually really, really flipping good, so. Good morning everyone. So I woke up a bit early today because I'm going on a walk with my friend and last time I went on a walk with her I made a batch of chocolate, triple chocolate cookies and I dropped them all on the floor. So I thought I had to repay her um, and I've made these. These are kinder cookies and they are actually have gone down a storm in the past when I've made them. There's four more in the oven. You basically put the little bit of kinder on the cookie and then like adheres to the cookie it's quite genius really so just got this ready Boop. good morning i'm aware i look really tired and that's because i am really tired it's 9 a.m and i'm already in the baking spirit to be honest i went to sleep and i had dreams and visions of matcha swell bread and i thought heck when i wake up i'm gonna make it kate i've been thinking about it ever since you'll never know if you like it until you try so I've got all, everything ready. I've like got on the yeast all sorted um, and I'm gonna knead the little baby away. And we're gonna make some Sunday morning matcha bread and see how it turns out. Okay, whilst the KitchenAid is doing its thing, I'm actually gonna make breakfast and I'm gonna make some waffles for breakfast, I think. I don't know if that counts as a bake, but I normally make waffles or pancakes for myself. <gasps> from Oh wow, the fruit bowl is looking quite good right now. Sorry, I didn't know we had plums and I love stony fruit. Nectarines, peaches, give it to me, I'll have it. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna make some waffles. You've seen me make waffles 349 times probably. Um, really easy, so let's get the batter on the go. I always add a tablespoon of either the linseed or the flaxseed. A little bit of extra fiber, you know? And she goes. The waffles are steaming. I think the bread is done. It is done. It was so sticky earlier. Um, you really have to beat it for a long time. But it's all come together. Whenever I make waffles, for some reason, the chocolate spread sticks not in the holes. Help. Look at this. It's literally gone everywhere but filled the holes. It's not soft enough, honey. My waffles, they were delicious. And I'm about to make the matcha filling. Which, we've got this matcha, which are little sachets. Um, and I, what? My braided bread. A filling. A matcha. matcha. Ooh. Not sure about that, are you? Ooh, I am. It says I need a tablespoon, so I don't know how many of these I'm gonna have to use, um, but we're gonna see. We're gonna beat it together, and I'm so intrigued what this will taste like. Sometimes my intrigue does get the better of me, and I'm like, I have to do this thing, because I just wanna know what it tastes like, or wanna know what it feels like, do you know what I mean? This better be good, because I used five of my matcha sachets and to be honest with you i've only ever been able to find in the supermarkets matcha sachets and they're so expensive so if this isn't good and i've just wasted my matcha i won't be happy okay we have our filling and now we just wait for our bread to proof and then bada bing bada bing braid it bish bash bosh cook it in the oven got ourselves matcha braided bread also i got sent this little kit from love raw um which they do those really nice wafer bars that i love and they've sent me the little baking kit with some recipes to bake which i am so excited but i might actually do that on extra grack which is another thing i'll probably bake today um so you can go and check out on extra grack if you want to see that but these are these are the delicious little guys mm, okay finished product. I am so intrigued what this is going to taste like. I really hope it's good but I've read in the comments always check the recipe comments honestly they give such little facts. Um, they said that better if you make it like a chocolate filling and she gave like a chocolate babka. It's very soft. Oh wow it's like a party in there. It just kind of smells like bread. 
It looks like it would be white chocolate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Let's see what you're saying. Mmm, that's quite nice. Mmm, it's got a definite like tea flavour. I don't think I actually do like it. I like the bread bit. I think definitely I'll try this again. Maybe the bread. Wait until it's cooled. With the chocolate bit. But I think I would make that chocolate. Yeah, it's repeating on me. I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good time watching it and feel chilled and ready and recuperated. What that word is. What the, I, how weird. This could be the start of your day or the end of your day. But regardless, I hope you have an incredible rest of your day. If you're just going to sleep, I hope you feel zen. If you're starting your day, I hope you feel positive and ready to conquer anything. I love you all loads. All the recipes I mentioned will be in the down bar if they weren't on screen. And have an amazing day. Subscribe if you want to. Follow me on Insta, all that jazz. I love you all loads.